Hello everyone, it's Reverend Deanna Cox here with your midweek reflection. I am outside in my yard in front of my lilac tree because I've heard conversations about how the lilacs are so late this year, which, you know, sparks conversations about the weather and how it's been such a kind of cold, wet spring and you know, the unusualness of it um, and, you know, and the lateness of the crops and and sometimes it spirals into anxiety, which blends in with what I want to talk about today. Um, I grew up on a farm, as probably many of you know, I talk about it quite often here. Um, and as such, where we are in East Central Alberta, uh, growing up on a farm in the in my generation probably meant that you grew up listening maybe by choice or not by choice to the CFCW farm report over noon hour and that has uh, that ritual was very much a part of my family my upbringing and so on occasion, when I get the chance, I still listen to the CFCW Farm Report. Uh, it's uh, comforting. Even though I don't understand all the prices per ton and bushel and, you know, and all the reports on the cattle weights and pig hog markets, it's got a comfort to it that I enjoy. And that is some of what I, that anxiety and comfort is what I want to talk about today um, because we have pardon, we've had pardon me we have neighbors dog Bella come that was interesting hey um We've had a cold, wet spring, and so there are people that are anxious about it. And in the farm report, it was talking about how there's some crops that have yet to be planted in some areas, and that um, they're talking about, Bella, about flea beetles, and that to maybe not jump to spraying it, um, but to be patient and know that sometimes, however it interacts with the different stages of the crops, that maybe we don't need to interfere quite as much. And so that got me thinking about how, as humans, we don't deal well with the unknown, with things that we can't fix, um, and our flight our fight or flight response is still incredibly high and so we we want we always react and uh, want to um, fix things and uh, um, pardon me a minute hey, that's enough Sorry about that. Nothing like talking about anxiety and having dogs going crazy in the background. Uh, anyways, it is our human nature to want to fix things like that. <laughs> and that we um, aren't really good with sitting with the unknown in the world. <sighs> that tends to lead to... higher heart rate, higher blood pressure, and also kind of a more angry response to the world, I guess, in, in general, to overgeneralize. Um, and so what I want to focus on today is the, the passage that says, be still and know that I am God. I've often had 
uh, friends or people say, you know, phrases like let go and let God or, you know, just give it up to God. And I've never really been good at understanding that. And, and so it's not really something I've believed necessarily. Like if I'm angry at something, I can't just turn that off. I need to deal with it. But there is a comfort in knowing that the things that we can't control, that God is with us in it. Be still and know that I am God. Because sometimes when we get into that spiral of anxiety and uh, stress, that we, we tend to get more judgmental of ourselves, of others, of the world. And if we know, if we take that time to know that this is God's world, then we may not have that understanding of why things are the way we are. But if we can just know that in whatever comes, this is God's world and we are held in the palm of God's hand and that God is the ultimate judge. Maybe we can let go of some of that anxiety that spirals us into a more negative place. So this summer, may you find ways to be still, to soak up God's presence like sitting at my table smelling the lilacs behind me soak it up soak up the God's presence in the world around you in your life see God in all things all people that you encounter this summer and may you as you see that may you share that with others and hopefully May it bring peace and calm to your being. Be still and know that I am God. Sorry for the chaos. Have a blessed summer. Bye.